करते हुए ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे एंड माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस श्री नितिन गडकरी जी ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर आंध्र प्रदेश श्री वाई एस जगन मोहन रेड्डी गारू ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर होम अफेयर्स श्री जी किशन रेड्डी गारू ऑनरेबल यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवे श्री जनरल डॉक्टर वी के सिंह जी ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर रोड एंड बिल्डिंग श्री एम शंक नारायणा गारू शंकर नारायणा गारू ऑनरेबल मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट प्रेजेंट मेंबर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली एंड मेंबर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल इन द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश ऑफिसर्स एंड एम्प्लाइज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड गवर्नमेंट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश इट गिव्स मी एम एंसप्राइज टू वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ फाउंडेशन स्टोन लेइंग एंड डेडिकेशन टू नेशन of projects on behalf of ministry of road transport and highways sir. sir on this occasion i would like to inform that length of national highways in the state of andhra pradesh is about 6860 kilometers ministry has incurred an expenditure of about 22250 crores on the development and maintenance of national highways in the last 6 years in the state of andhra pradesh There are 56 ongoing projects costing rupees 17,940 crores, and there are 13 upcoming projects costing rupees 11,712 crores being implemented by PWD and NHAI during current year. In addition to this, work of 3,104 crores has also been approved under so far. sir today the foundation stone laying and dedication to nation of 61 highway projects worth rupees 15592 crores and covering 1411 kilometers including an important project of kanak durga flyover and bench circle at vijayawada could result in development of basic infrastructure industrial development and better connectivity which would further lead to overall economic development of andhra pradesh also the traffic will become smooth faster and jam free i hope the people of andhra pradesh will be benefited and it will help in progress of the state once again i extend my welcome greetings to all dignitaries and the people of andhra pradesh who have come to witness this function even during the present difficult situation created due to covid-19 pandemic thank you sir dhanyawad thank you thank you now i would uh, like to request the honorable minister of road and buildings government of andhra pradesh sri m sankar narayana garu to make his address on this occasion please namaskar I, de- I take this privilege and honor to welcome honorable union minister for road transport and highways and msme shri nitin gadkari ji honorable union minister of state for road transport and highways and our honorable chief minister shri vyas jagan mohan reddy garu shri general retired vk singh ji garu honorable union minister state for home affairs shri ji kishan reddy garu secretary mot shri ji girizar garu chairman nha sri dr subbir singh sandhu garu director general mot sri k sri ik pande ji and other minister colleagues participating in the virtual conference honorable members of parliament honorable members of legislative assembly honorable members of legislative council and officers of the roads and building department mot nha participating in 
the Bhumi Poojan of projects ready for foundation and dedication to the nation of completed projects in Andhra Pradesh. Sri Nitin Gadkariji, we are very much grateful to you for accepting our invitation for laying a foundation of 16 projects worth 7,584 crores and dedicating 10 completed projects worth 8,007 crores and other 36 projects, total 61 projects worth about 15,591 crores in our state. It is indeed a memorable moment for the people of Andhra Pradesh, sir. I am grateful to our young and dynamic leader, Sri Vyas Jaganmohan Redigaru, for giving this opportunity to be part of this remarkable and memorable event. Sri Nitin Gadkariji, with your dynamic leadership and uh, great vision, you have transformed the national highways infrastructure in the country and improved the pace of us substantially. Regarding the state of Andhra Pradesh, you were kind enough to convert 2,665 kilometers to state roads into national highways during your tenure, thereby giving impetus to the improved road infrastructure in the state. However, still 1,400 30 kilometers, 1,030 kilometers of national highways are below the width of 10 meters, which requires your support for upgrading to a minimum two lane with paved shoulders. Taking inspiration from your work as PWD, PWD Minister in Maharashtra, our anger and dynamic Honorable Chief Minister Sri Vyas Jaganmohan Redigaru is exploring ways to improve the road sector. Road sector. Our Honorable Chief Minister was kind enough to allot one rupee says to be collected on petrol and diesel sales for the development of the APRDC in the state. In the state. And also to improve the self-sustainability of the road sector, we are also contemplating the commercial utilization of vacant R&B lands for advertisement purpose to increase revenue of the state for the development of the roads. Sir, we solicit solicit your uh, expertise and guidance in improving and developing the road sector in AP state from road safety aspect as well. Sir, as per your guidance and directions, road safety survey is being conducted for the entire national highways in the state and also road safety audit is being conducted, conducted for eliminating the black spots of the spots in the national highways across the state. We once again request you to kindly extend your support to AP state by sanctioning more projects to our state. We request to take up some more conversion of state highways connecting important towns into national highways. Sir, we look, we look forward to your kind cooperation and with the dynamic leadership of our Honorable Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Redigaru, we intended to develop the road sector in the state in a big way in the near future. Manya Gadkariji, I'm Asha hai, Asha karte hai ki aap ki aur adharaniya manya Mukhya Mantri ji Sri Jagan Mohan Reddy ji ki sahayata se Andhra Rastra mein sadkom aur parivahanon ke aur rajya margon ki abriddi hogi. Sir, once again I sincerely thank you for sanctioning projects for all around development of road infrastructure in AP. My sincere Thanks to one and all for, participate and, for participation and making this event successful. Danyavad. Thank you, ma'am, sir, for your kind address. Now, may I request Honorable Minister of State of Road, Transport and Highways, the uh, General Dr. V.K. Singh Ji to make his address on this occasion. The Honorable Chief Minister of uh, Andhra Pradesh Shri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, Amare Sayogi Raja Mantri Shri G. Kishan Reddy Garu, Union Minister of State for Home Affairs, Minister for Road Building Andhra Pradesh Shri Bala Gundula Shankar Narayan Garu, all the officials from uh, 
the center and from Andhra Pradesh were present for today's function. It is a function which is which brings uh, to the fore the type of prosperity that is coming to Andhra Pradesh. Under the guidance of uh, our Minister Shri Nitin Gadkariji, a fair amount of attention has, has been given to how prosperity can come to Andhra Pradesh through various projects that are being, either the foundation stone is being laid or they're being dedicated to the people. There are a total of 61 projects totaling 1,411 kilometers for 15 and a half crore, 1,000, uh, 15 and a half thousand crore rupees, which are coming to Andhra Pradesh in various stages. Whether it is port connectivity or economic corridors or ensuring that for traffic worthiness and for better traffic management, there are bypasses, ROBs, there are extra lanes that are being created. Andhra is, the, is a hub through which large number of road network passes. And we are very certain that uh, with the type of cooperation that exists between the state and the center, more such projects will bring prosperity to the state of Andhra Pradesh. Today is a day when uh, we congratulate each and every one who has uh, been part of these projects and who are going to be part of these projects in which the foundation stone is being laid. Once again, I congratulate everybody. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. Now, may I request the Honorable Minister of State of Home Affairs, Government of India, C. G. Kisan Reddy Garu, to make his address on this occasion. Also, Minister of Road Transport and Highways, C. Nitin Gadkariji, Honorable Chief Minister of Government of Andhra Pradesh, C. Jaganmun Reddy Garu, Honorable Minister of State, Road and Transport Highways, respected General B.K. Singaru, and the Rasta Prabhutva Roads and Building Mantri, Sri Shankar Narangaru, Gaurava Parliament Sabilu, Mantulu, Shasana Sabilu, Ikarakramalo, Palgutuna Twenty, Andhra Pradesh, Sodari Sodar Mandu, Andhari Kuda, then you shook Sandar Bana, Rudepur Kominet Twenty, Shuba Kanshal Telea Sounano, Irozu, Andhra Rastan Samaninchi, Aneka Vinet Twenty, Project Lapu, Shankustapana Chedamu, Adevidanga, Mari Chala Pedetuna, Padke Nirmanam Purte Pinet Twenty, Road Lukani, Itara Karakramalaku, Rosu Praramuts and Jess Kodamu, Mari Chala Santoshangaundi, Mukenga Nitin Gadkargaru, Gata Anek Rosuruga, Ibaja Sikuna Tati Gadar, Sansaralo, Esha Mukachitrani, Nitin Gadkargar Marcharu, Doro Pradhan Mantri, Narendra Mudigar, Margaret Shumlo, Uka Dynamic Minister Ga, Dura Dushi, Ankita Bawanu, Spurtito, Mari Deshamlo, Infrastructure Development Kosamu, Nitin Gadkargaru, Chala Kastapadi, Aneka Sansaraga, Panjas Taunaru, Irozu, Andhra Rastan Samaninchi, Uka Mailu Raini, Andhra Pradesh Prajalu, Irozu, Andukodamu, Chala Santosha Gondi, Mikandar Telsu, Rondue La Padnaru, Mene Lavarku, Andhra Pradesh Ro, Jatia Radar La Pudu, four thousand one hundred and ninety three kilometers Sundaga, Irozu, Narendra Modiar, Nakatolo, Nitin Gargaru, Mari Ibadeta Shepard in Tarata, Kendra Mantrila, Arvela, Imirandala, Yavatum, the kilometer Naku, National Level Sup, Pegad and Nagini, almost to two thousand. 666 kilometers to Perdalante, Swatan Ramuchina Pominchi, Entai the Road Resharo, 
దానికి ఆరు సంవత్సరాల్లో సిక్స్టీ ఫోర్ పర్సెంట్ రోడ్లు అదనంగా మరి ఆంధ్ర రాష్ట్రంలో నిర్మాణం జరిగిందని చెప్పి ఈ సందర్భంగా పర్యవేక్షిస్తున్నాను ఈ ఆర్థిక సంవత్సరానికి మరొక ఆరు వందల ఎనభై ఎనిమిది కిలోమీటర్ల రోడ్లు కూడా పూర్తి అయ్యేటువంటి అన్ని అడ్డంకులు కలిగినట్లయితే ల్యాండ్ అప్లికేషన్ పూర్తి అయినట్లయితే ఈ యొక్క రోడ్లు కూడా పూర్తి అవుతాయని చెప్పి ఈ సందర్భంగా మనవేస్తున్నాను అదేవిధంగా ఎంతో కాలంగా ఎదురు చూస్తున్నటువంటి కనకదుర్గ ఫ్లైఓవర్ ప్రాజెక్టు ప్రారంభంతో ముఖ్యంగా విజయవాడ ఆ పరిసర ప్రాంతాల్లో సామాజిక ఆర్థిక ప్రగతి మరింత పెరుగుతుందనే విషయాన్ని కూడా ఈ సందర్భంగా మానేస్తున్నాం ఈ ప్రాజెక్టు రాష్ట్ర యొక్క ప్రగతిని మార్చగల సామర్థ్యం ఉంది ఎన్హెచ్ సిక్స్టీని ఫైవ్ థౌజండ్ వన్ హండ్రెడ్ ట్వంటీ టూ కిలోమీటర్స్ మీద నాలుగు వరుసలుగా మార్చడము దానిలో భాగంగా భవానీపురం నుంచి విజయవాడలోని కనకదుర్గమ్మ వారిది జంక్షన్ వరకు సిక్స్ లైన్స్ ఎత్తైన ఫ్లైఓవర్ నిర్మించడము బెజవాడ ప్రజలకు కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వం అందిస్తున్నటువంటి కాను కాని ఈ సందర్భంగా మనవేస్తున్నాము సుమారు ఐదు వందల కోట్ల రూపాయల ప్రతిష్టాత్మకమైనటువంటి ప్రాజెక్టు విజయవాడ నగర వాసులకు ట్రాఫిక్ కష్టాలను తప్పించి మరి అమ్మవారి దర్శనం చేసుకోవడం కానీ ఇతర మరి హైదరాబాద్ లాంటి నగరానికి వెళ్ళడానికి కానీ ఇది అనుసంధానం చేసి మరి అందరికీ చేరువ అవుతుందని చెప్పి ఈ సందర్భంగా మనవేస్తాను మీకందరికీ తెలుసు నరేంద్ర మోడీ గారి ప్రభుత్వం అధికారంలోకి వచ్చిన తర్వాత అనేకమైనటువంటి న్యూ ప్రాజెక్టులు కూడా ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ రాష్ట్రంలో చేపట్టడం జరిగింది ముఖ్యంగా ఏమ్స్ హాస్పిటల్ కావచ్చు మెడికల్ కాలేజ్ కానీ అదేవిధంగా ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ అండ్ ఎడ్యుకేషన్ అది తిరుపతిలో ఏర్పాటు చేయడం కానీ ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ తిరుపతిలో మరి సుమారు ఏడు వందల కోట్ల రూపాయలతో దాన్ని చేపట్టిన విషయం మీకు అందరికీ తెలుసు అదేవిధంగా నేషనల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఓషియన్ టెక్నాలజీ నెల్లూరులోను ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ శ్రీ సిటి తిరుప చిత్తూరులోను నేషనల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ తాడపల్లిగూడెంలోను ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టూరిజం అండ్ ట్రావెల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ నెల్లూరులోను నేషనల్ అకాడమీ ఆఫ్ కస్టమ్స్ ఎక్సైజ్ అండ్ నార్కటిక్స్ అనంతపూర్ లోను నేషనల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ డిజైన్ విజయవాడలోను నేషనల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ విశాఖపట్నంలోను నేషనల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఫార్మా ఎడ్యుకేషన్ వైజాగ్ లోను నేషనల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ కర్నూలులోను అదేవిధంగా సెంట్రల్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ప్లాస్టిక్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ టెక్నాలజీ విజయవాడలోను దాని సీట్ల సంఖ్యను కూడా పెంచారు ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ పెట్రోలియం అండ్ ఎనర్జీ విశాఖపట్నంలోను ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ప్యాకేజ్ కాకినాడలోను ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఎంఎస్ఎంఈ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ సెంటర్ విశాఖపట్నంలోను ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఫారెన్ అండ్ ట్రేడ్ కాకినాడలోను ట్రైబల్ యూనివర్సిటీ సెంట్రల్ యూనివర్సిటీ అనంతపురంలోను ఈ రకంగా అనేకమైనటువంటి విద్యా సంస్థలు కానీ కేంద్ర ప్రభుత్వము నరేంద్ర మోడీ గారు ప్రధానమంత్రి అయిన తర్వాత ఆంధ్ర రాష్ట్ర అభివృద్ధికి అంకిత భావంతో పనిచేస్తున్నటువంటి విషయాన్ని ఈ సందర్భంగా మనవేస్తున్నాను తప్పకుండా మరి ఈ రెండు తెలుగు రాష్ట్రాలు అభివృద్ధి జరగాలని ముఖ్యంగా కొత్తగా ఏర్పాటైనటువంటి ఆంధ్ర రాష్ట్ర అభివృద్ధి కోసం నరేంద్ర మోడీ గారి ప్రభుత్వము అంకిత భావంతో చిత్తశుద్దితో తప్పకుండా రాష్ట్రంలో ఉన్నటువంటి ప్రభుత్వాలతో కలిసి మరి పనిచేస్తుందని ఈ రెండు రాష్ట్రాల కోసం మరి అనేక రకాల నేషనల్ లైబ్రరీస్ కానీ ఇతర కార్యక్రమాలు కానీ ముందుకు తీసుకెళ్తుందని ఒకసారి మనవి చేస్తూ నేను తెలుగు ప్రజల తరఫున ముఖ్యంగా నితిన్ గడ్కరీ గారికి హృదయపూర్వకమైనటువంటి ధన్యవాదాలు తెలియజేస్తున్నాను ఎందుకంటే వారు అనేకంగా తెలంగాణ రాష్ట్రంలో కానీ ఆంధ్ర రాష్ట్రంలో కానీ జాతీయ రహదారుల అభివృద్ధి కోసము నితిన్ గడ్కరీ గారు నిరంతరము కష్టపడుతూ మరి పనిచేస్తా ఉన్నారు ఏ ఎంపీ గారు పోయినా కూడా ఏ మినిస్టర్ అడిగినా కూడా లేదు అన్న మాట ఈ రోజు నితిన్ గడ్కరీ గారి నోట నుంచి వినలేదు మనం ల్యాండ్ ఎక్వేషన్ చేసుకుని రోడ్లు నిర్మాణం చేసుకోవడము ప్రాసెస్ చేసుకోవడం ఆలస్యం తప్ప ఏ రోజు కూడా నో అనేటువంటి పదము నితిన్ గడ్కరీ గారి నోట నుంచి రాదు కాబట్టి నేను వారికి ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ తెలంగాణకు జనతాకి ఎవరు సేఫ్ సారి తెలుగు జనతాకి ఎవరు సేఫ్ మేము నితిన్ గడ్కరీజీకు బోధ్ బోధ్ ధన్యవాదం చేస్తాం ఓ ఇంకా నేతృత్వమే ఆదరణీయ ప్రధానమంత్రి నరేంద్ర మోడీ జీకి మార్గదర్శనపై అమరా దో ప్రాంతంకు నేషనల్ హైవేస్ వికాస్ కలిగే బోత్ అచ్చే కామ్ వాయ్ అవర్ బోత్ కుచ్ పైప్ లైన్ మే బి హే కుచ్ టెండర్ స్టేజ్ మే బి హే కొన్ని ల్యాండ్ అక్వేషన్ స్టేజ్ మే బి హే మేరా క్యాల్సే ఆనే వాళ్ళే ఇస్ చార్ సాల్ మే 
और बहुत कुछ विकास होगा मैं फिर एक बार आदरणीय नितिन गडकरी जी को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूं जय हिंद for your kind address now we will witness the foundation stone laying and dedication to the nation of 61 highway projects worth rupees 5592 crores and 1411 km length by honorable minister for road transport and highways and msme sri nitin gadkari ji the function is presided by Sri Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy, the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, in the in the August presence of Sri General Dr. V K Singh Ji, Sri G Kishan Reddy Garu, and Sri M Shankar Narayana Garu. May I now request the Honourable Minister uh, Road Transport and Highways to unveil the plaque, which will be accompanied by screening of a short film on the projects. that kindly under the guiding light from the honorable prime minister sri narendra modi and capable execution by the minister of road and transport sri nitin gadkari ably supported by the chief minister of andhra pradesh sri bai s jagan mohan reddy andhra pradesh is zooming fast on the track of success with the infra projects worth rupees 15592 crore The land of Vijayawada is now witnessing the paradigm shift in growth with the completion of 2.5 km long Kanak Durga flyover. This six-lane structure is built on the unique spine and wing structure and resting on a single pier, an engineering marvel. on the need it has a four lane road which will reduce the travel time from 30 to 45 minutes to just 5 minutes ben circle is the heart of the city and to ease traffic congestion a six lane flyover was envisaged now the day has come when three lanes are complete for dedication to the nation and other three lanes are up for the bhumi pujan the list doesn't end here andhra pradesh is scheduled to get 28 rovs under setu bharatam scheme today two rovs shall be handed over to the state near chitur 
on this historic day, many more projects are being launched and these are for laning of Kandapa to Karnul section of NH40, Vijaybada to Machili Patanam section of NH65, Nalagamapalli to AP Karnataka border section of NH4, 6 laning of Ranasthanam to Anandapuram section of NH16 and 2 laning with paved shoulder of Anandapuram to Kalyan Durg section of NH544 DD. Guti to Tadipatri section of NH67 and Epper Palem to Ongal section of NH216. There are 15 more projects costing rupees 6,385 crore lined up for execution and start of the work. These projects include construction of six-lane Vijayvara bypass including major bridge across River Krishna with paved shoulders of several sections of national highways, construction of three ROVs under Setu Bharatam, construction of two bypasses and one flyover on other national highways. Additionally, 36 numbers of works on state roads are being started under CRIF scheme. Further, DPR for 25 port connectivity roads having a length of 404 kilometers at a total cost of rupees 7,000 crores has been taken up. This will give better connectivity to ports like Vishakapatanam, Kakinada, Machilipatanam, Krishnapatanam under Bharat Mala, Sagar Mala Pariyojana. These projects shall usher the state of Andhra Pradesh into the new trajectory of growth and prosperity. Spreading smile on the faces of its citizens. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for unveiling the plate. Now, may I add, uh, request the Honorable Chief Minister Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, to make his address. Sri uh, Nitin Gadkari Ji, Honorable Union Minister for Road, Transport and Highways and MSME, Sri General VK Singh Ji, retired. Honorable Union Minister of State for Road Transport and Highways, Shri Ji Kishan Redigaru, Honorable Union Minister of State for Home Affairs, uh, Shri A. Giridhar Garu, Secretary Morth, Shri Dr. Sukhbir Singh Sanduji, Chairman NHAI, Shri I.K. Pandeji, Director General Morth, and uh, my ministerial colleague, uh, Shri Shankar Narayan Garu also. Respected uh, uh, public representatives and other dignitaries present in the virtual conference participating in the uh, Bhumi Puja of uh, projects ready for foundation and dedication to the nation of completed projects in Andhra Pradesh. A very warm greetings to all of you. Under the visionary leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji and uh, our dynamic leader Sri Nitin Gadkari ji with his visionary approach has transformed the national highways infrastructure in the entire country by increasing the pace of construction of national highways from 12 kilometers per day in, way back in 2013-14 to around 30 kilometers per day as of now. It became possible only because of the innovative financing of the projects, raising resources from different sources, and taking up construction on hybrid model and TOT model. All these concepts were new until, uh, until our visionary, Mr. Gadkari ji, took up this initiative. I'm very happy to mention here that the auction of the first bundle of TOT raised 10,000 crores for a period of 30 years. And out of this 682 kilometers, out of the 682 kilometers, around 442 kilometers is in Andhra Pradesh. 
So I thank you for the commitment uh, uh, what has been uh, bestowed on Andhra Pradesh. With the great vision of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji and the dynamism and the dynamism exhibited by Sri Nitin Gadkari ji, 22 Greenfield Express Highways of about 7,800 kilometers are being taken up at an estimated cost of 3.3 lakh crores to bolster the economy through seamless road connectivity. It is heartening to note that six Greenfield Express Highways are passing through the state of Andhra Pradesh with an overall length of 375 kilometers. Sir, I am thankful to you for your cooperation in converting 2,667 kilometers of state roads to national highways out of our total length of 6,880 kilometers during your tenure. Today I am happy to participate along with you in the foundation laying ceremony of 16 projects worth 7,584 crores and inauguration of 10 projects worth 8,038 crores. I also convey my sincere appreciation for the immediate steps you have taken to give consent on the proposal sent from the state government for various four-laning and tribal area connect connectivity projects. I convey my special gratitude for sanction of three-lane west side flyover at Ben Circle in Vijaywada based on my personal request during our previous meeting at New Delhi. My profound thanks to you, sir. Sir, we also need your continuous support for the development of connectivity infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, if I may ask of you, I'd like to request you to sanction a few more projects, sir, what are of importance, what are, uh, I would not, uh, uh, I would not mention of these things if these were not so important. These are very important projects, sir. And we've represented uh, some of them. And the others, of course, we would send it to you in due course of time, sir. But since the occasion has come up and uh, uh, since we could not meet you in person, uh, thanks to this COVID, uh, so I, I just hope that you would not mind me in this occasion raising uh, these issues also with your kind permission, if you permit me, sir, I would, uh, uh, I, I would just take another five minutes of your time in mentioning these projects to you for your kind, in, for, for your kind in consideration. You had sanctioned funds to the tune of uh, rupees 2,611 crores under Central Road Fund uh, during the previous regime, sir. But unfortunately, the state did not get any sanction in 2019-20 and 2020-21 after my government has taken charge. I was informed that the ministry has already taken positive action on the first phase of proposals uh, to a tune of 680 crores. The second phase proposals to a tune of 820 crores is submitted to the ministry for your kind sanction, sir. Uh, the second in line, sir, Vijayawada city needs bypass roads to ease the growing traffic on the west side one such bypass is already sanctioned and work is commencing shortly, sir. On the eastern side, a length of 78 kilometers against 189 kilometers proposed for the entire ring road needs to be taken up, sir. Out of this, the portion connecting to NH65 and NH16 with major bridge over Krishna River having a length of 52 kilometers may be taken up in the first phase due to sufficient traffic and connectivity, sir, to Machali Patnam port, which will add traffic further as this part is due for construction, and this would make the project even more viable, sir, once this port uh, comes up. It is my sincere request to consider sanction of this project without insisting on state government contribution for the land acquisition cost, considering our uh, uh, plight, sir. Gre thirdly, sir, Greenfield Express Highway connecting Bangalore to Vijayawada via Kodikonda check post, Puluvendala, Muddanur, and Vijayawada may be taken up in phase one in view of its importance, sir. 
in giving better connectivity for the hinterlands and backward Rail Sima districts to central Andhra Pradesh and Bangalore, sir. Fourthly, sir, I have just eight points to go, sir, and this is the fourth. I'm halfway done, sir. Fourthly, sir, additional allocation of rupees 220 crores for widening urban link of NH42 in Anantapur town, four laning including the ROB in addition to the rupees 90 crores already provided in National Highway Annual Plan for the year 2020-21, sir. Fifthly, fifth, fifth point being, sir, sanction of Narsapuram bypass on NH216, which includes construction of a bridge on Vasista Godavari for providing good link between East Godavari and West Godavari district, sir. The sixth point, sir, sanction of upgradation of two lanes with paved soldiers with paved shoulders for the stretch from Kavali Udaygiri to Sita Ramapuram of NH67, uh, BG costing around 450 crores in the additional sanctions in National Highway Annual Plan during 2020-21, sir, and 2021, and 2020-21. This will connect Nello districts to YSR Kadapa, Prakasham, and Chittur districts, sir. Seventh point, sir, comprehensive development of 25 port connecting projects with a total length of 400 kilometers connecting our five important ports to the nearest national highways for propelling economic growth by creating connectivity from the ports uh, to the industrial nodes and consumption centers without insisting on providing free ROW, sir, from state governments. Sir, as you're at the eighth point, sir, the last point, as you're aware, sir, that our government is developing WISAC as executive capital, it is, all, it, is all, it is all the more important to have an alternate connectivity from WISAC to Bogapuram International Airport, sir. I request you to take over the beach road in WISAC and develop four-lane coastal highway up to this uh, Bogapuram International uh, Airport, sir. So these are the eight important uh, uh, projects, sir. We've sent uh, some of them already to you, and uh, the rest uh, we will also send, we'll also be sending it across, sir, for your kind perusal. Having put forth our request, sir, I once again sincerely thank you for keeping the needs of Andhra Pradesh close to your heart and sanctioning projects for all-round development of road infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh. I assure you, sir, our full cooperation from the state government in expediting execution of all the projects through continuous support for land acquisition and resolution of local issues. I look forward for your visit to Andhra Pradesh in the near future for a first-hand review of the projects and sustained cooperation. Uh, thank, thanks a lot, sir, uh, for uh, uh, having graced this occasion to inaugurate and also to lay foundation stones for almost 15,000 crores worth of projects. My sincere thanks to you, sir. On the occasion, how may I request the Honorable Minister of Food, Transport and Highways and MSME, Sri Nitin Gadkari, to make an address on this occasion. Honorable Chief Minister, Jagan Mohan Reddy ji, my cabinet colleague, Dishan Reddy ji, my colleague, Honorable State Minister, General V.K. Singh ji, Minister of Road and Building, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri M. Shankana Narana ji, all the Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Member of Parliament, MLAs, and all brothers and sisters. It is a pleasure for me. Today we are marching ahead for the development of new infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh. And that is really a great pleasure and pride for me. 
before our government up to 2014, the total NH in Andhra Pradesh was 4,193 kilometers. Now till May 2020, it comes to 6,860 kilometers. It is uh, the length of national highway in Andhra Pradesh before. Uh, the whatever the increase in it is 2,667 kilometers. That is 64% in the six years. Regarding the expenditure also, the total sanction accorded since 2014 was 32,250 crores. And total expenditure coming up to 24,225 crores. The work costing rupees 8,869 crores are targeted for completion by 2021. And project to be awarded in 2021 is 11,712 crore rupees. Projects likely to be completed during current year, which are very much important. The total projects are 28 number. Length is 651 kilometers. And cost is 8,869 crores. Where I am confident that we are going to complete this project this year. These projects are very important. Six lane of Rasta Salam Anantapuram section. Construction of four lane ROV and its approaches in the Mukar Murkam Battu of NH 18. Six four laning of NH 9, including six lane elevated flyover that is in new NH 65. I have got the list of all these projects, and that project cost includes is uh, approximately it comes to 9,000 crores. I am confident this project is going to change the scenario in the Andhra Pradesh. As far as the development in Andhra Pradesh is concerned, we are very much committed because Andhra Pradesh is one of the progressive state, and there is a huge potential for industrial development. For this year where we are going to award the projects, for this year our, we are now in position to award these projects, the cost involves 11,712 crores of 535 kilometers, project number is 13. These projects of two laning with paved shoulders of Lamsingli to Paderu section of NH516E, that is of 48 kilometer, cost is 361 crore. Date of award is March 2021. Two laning with paved shoulder of Chaprati Palem to Lambasingi section of 40 kilometer, cost is 311 crore. We will award it March 2021. Oyakuru to Chhatrapati Palem, two lane, March, before March 221, we will award this project of 350 crores. Two laning with pave shoulder with Baudara Vijangaram section, that and then three lane elevated flower from Jyoti Mahal Junction, Ramesh Hospital Junction. Two laning with pev shoulder with Paderu to Gudiguda section. Two laning of pev shoulder of Gudiguru to Araku up to Ballaguda section. And six laning of Reni Gunta, Naidi Peta section. The cost of this project is 2,225 crore. Widening and strengthening to two lane with pev shoulder of Salaru to Gajapatni Garam. Construction of Kadri Bypass in Bangalore Chennai Express Highway 85 km. Part of it in Andhra Pradesh. The cost involved is 5,175 crore. Before March end, we will start this work. Four laning of Khammam Devarapalli section, 72 km, cost is 1,571 crore. Widening of two lane with pro shoulder from Omaru to a key way to section that cost include 530 crore. So these are 535 crore 
and cost includes is 11,712 crore. 100% we are going to award this project. Already the total project 45 numbers. Length is 2,209 kilometer and cost is 32,175 32, crores. Where the DPR is already order for that and some of the DPR are finalized. Immediately we will try to start this project. That is Akivedu Digarmaru section, 46 kilometer of 450 crore. Madnur Kadappa, that is 51 kilo, kilometer, 180 crore. Purumilla CS Puramu, 56 kilometer, that is 525 crore. CS Puramu to Singara Koda, 90 kilometer of 872 crores. Adrachalam in TS, TSAP, that is 38 kilometer, 204 crores. Border to Jelangulji, Jangareddi Gayadan, Devarapalli, up to Rajamundri. It is finalized, NIP is finalized. Then Ramakodavaram to Koyaru. This is also that year, for this year we will award this project. Suryapet to Khammam, Ashwaraput, Kunur section. Vijaywada, Jagdalpur, 64 kilometer of which we are going to advance. Near Devratapalli Reserve Forest, 21 kilometer. Nagarjuna Sagar Dam to Devalapulli. Then Kaveli to Udayagiri Setu Bharat Puram. Setu, Setu Tharam Puram. This DPR is in uh, up to NIP. Araku Bodara section. DPR is to be taken up. Implement to hairpin base on Hyderabad, Sheri Silam, Dornala, Tokapalli Road. DPR is in the final stage. Maidukular in Parmekula section, then Molakachuru to Madapulla section, construction of tunnel, and realignment to avoid hairpin bends in Ghat portion, then bypass road to Lipakshi, then Chintur to Motu section, Vesterweir Peta to Angole section, DPR is under preparation, Malankiri Sambhavaram Pro section, DPR is under preparation, Kadapa to Renigunta section, FFR submitted to Bharat Mala. Bangalore Chennai Express Highway is very important. It is also very important for the state of Andhra Pradesh. The cost of the project is more than 5,000 crore, the part in Andhra Pradesh. Then Madapalle to Pilaru section, then Pilaru to Chetropalli sections, Odisha to AP border, 100 kilometer, that is Sabavaram section. That is Raipur, Raipur, Vishakapatnam. Then Medukur, Badavel section. Then Karnataka, AP border, Chintankunta, Adoni. That is of 2000 crore project. Then Khammam, Devapir section. That is Telangana, AP order to Borampalam village. Then Khammam, Devrapalla section, Borapalam village to Devrapalli village. Development of Greenfield Bypass Road for better connectivity to Gangavaram port in Vishakapatnam district. Let four lane beach road connecting Gangavaram port to ACJ at Achutapuram in Vishakapatnam district. Upgradation the existing four lane road of connecting to Gujuwaka to Gangavaram port into six lane road in Vishakapatnam district. Vakalpudi junction of Annavaram junction meeting. Final visit report is submitted. Encourage old port area to Anchampetta junction. Development of Greenfield Road connecting Machali Patnam. Upgradation of Manglipudi Beach Road, four lane road to connect Machlipuram. Development of four lane Greenfield Road from Machlipuram North Port to NH 46. Development of four lane Greenfield Road from Machlipuram South Port to NH 9. Construction of four laning of Chilakaru Crossroad to Chinthavaram, construction of four laning of Chinthavaram to Turku Kanpur, six laning of Turku Kanpur to Port South Gate with a spur to Vargili from Gunampadiya, Cheninga, package three, construction of six lane Greenfield Road connecting north and south industrial cluster of 
Kandarlelu Creek near Krishnapatnam Port at Varangali to Molyar near Muthukur and extension of dedicated port road. Six lane green field road from Krishnapatnam Port from Nadipita and port connectivity road four lane from East Breakwater to Convert Junction. So these are the length of 2,209 kilometer and the cost is 32,175 crores. We will try the DPRs on the final stage. We will try to make it the start of this project for the next year. The port connectivity is very important and we have already taken 24 projects. The length is uh, 404 crore and cost is 7,400 crore is involved. The connectivity of Kakinada port to Rajnangaram and Samal Kota. Two to four laning of road connectivity of Kakinada port from Samal Kota to Rajnangaram in Godavari district. Then Greenfield Road connecting north and south industrial cluster of Kandarilu Greek near Krishnapatnam port. Four laning road of Nellore city. This is the list is with me. These are the big projects and where we are specially think on about the port connectivity. The most important thing is regarding port connectivity is going to helpful for Andhra Pradesh for new development for new industry. And it is very important. Already we are giving highest priority for that. Majority of this road we are making DPR and we will 100% resolve the exp uh, solve the problem and fulfill the expectation of the chief minister and the people of Andhra Pradesh. So now this 704 crore is very important. Regarding this express highway network is also equally important. The Bangalore Chennai express highway, where a total length of 262.100 kilometer, out of which 85 kilometer length, Bethe Mangla to Gudipula section, falls in Andhra Pradesh, which is proposed for four lane. Uh, and uh, this is very important. I will request Honorable Chief Minister that under your chairship, chairmanship, please you call the meeting of all NHI work with your officers, Chief Secretary, and my officers from Delhi, and even NHI officers. And in this meeting, my request to you that with the agenda of your state, we can resolve the problem and we will expedite the work. The post by petition of the state of government of Andhra Pradesh plans to develop the Rail Sima region by providing better infrastructure facilities of the making with major potential up for industrial development. Therefore, an access control expressway has been planned for better connectivity of capital region, coastal, and northern region of Andhra Pradesh, that is the uh, Amravati Anantapuram Express Highway. The proposed expressway connect Amravati, new capital city of Andhra Pradesh, with Anantapuram and Rail Sima region. It takes off from the National Highway 44 near Marur in Anantapuram district and terminates at Chikalpuria bypass near Chikalpuria in Guktu district. The proposed express highway provides a major connectivity between NS 44 and NS 16, which are lifeline in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The expressway passes through four districts Anantapuram, Karnul, Prakasam, Prakasam, and Guntur in up Andhra Pradesh. This is also important project once you come to Delhi, we will discuss in details about it. About the ring road of Vijayawada, Amravati. The proposed ring road runs around the proposed capital city of Amravati and passes through the district of Krishna and Guntur and does fast better movement of traffic. This project decongests the traffic of NS16 and 65 passing through Vijayawada city. The ring road shall decongest the roads in capital city. And as far as the land acquisition is concerned, my request is, once you come to Delhi, already it was promised by the previous government for giving me 50% cost for that. But still, we will discuss the issue. If some problems, we can resolve that. That a royalty on aggregate, then a GST on steel and cement, you can make exemption, but it can be a national, national loss and we can reduce the cost. So by which your contribution for adding of 50% of land acquisition can be reduced. But once you come to Delhi, we will discuss and we will try to resolve this problem. The total CRF 
a sanction uh, presently sanction according to in this year is already 681 crore rupees works have already started already sanctioned and when you comes to delhi we with the presence of the concerning officers we will sit together and if is there is any provision for me to give more sanction i will definitely try to give it regarding a uh, today is uh, one of the important flower i got approached to visit there that vijayawada durga flower is very good it is a pride for the country i remember when honorable vice president of india venkaiya naidu at that time he was the urban development minister in his presence i visited the spot i also go to that mandir mata mandir at that time durga mata mandir and uh, i i understand the importance of this flower the vijayawada mp is also making follow up for this flower many times to me it is really a pleasure and pride for me that today we are completed this flower this is going to be one of the important flower the other projects are very important about what the accidents i will request you road accidents every year in the country we have 5 lakhs accidents and 1 lakh 50000 deaths in andhra pradesh already on national highway 435 black spots have been identified temporary rectification measures completed for 290 295 black spots permanent rectification measures completed for 150 black spots and temporary rectification measures for balanced black spots targeted for completion in 2020 the permanent rectification measures for balanced black spots targeted for completion by december 2021 my request to you that please give highest priority for how we can save the life of the people we have to reduce the number of accidents this is very important the tamil nadu government successfully reduced the road accidents and death by 25% my humble request to you and your colleagues cabinet colleagues and the home ministry that if you can plan and taking measures there is a good example of tamil nadu on the same time world bank adb is now helping to us they are ready to sanction 14000 crore for improvement in road engineering for black spots i am ready to support you my suggestion is on a mission move if you can decide you to take accept this challenge and 100% resolve this issue then that can be a great thing for the people of andhra pradesh i am personally very much sensitive and i will support for this mission for you today's lokarpan of 10 project that is cost is 8006 crore and 529 lakh they are very very remarkable roads and i am confident that by this road 100% giving great relief to the people of andhra pradesh regarding the benefit of all these projects are very good and i am from, from a really happy that people of vijayawada people of andhra pradesh they they are benefited from all these projects this is really a great pleasure for me and today is bhumi pujan of 51 projects the length of 873 km and cost involved is 7366 km under your able leadership guidance and cooperation i am really confident that we will achieve this goal and we will complete all this project before time today regarding the minister of msme also we are doing lot of projects in andhra pradesh today i will request you regarding the development of andhra pradesh creating more employment potential and the growth in the country particularly from khadi and village gramodyog industry and msme i am really want to support you you can make lot of ports develop and you can make their good industrial development area it can create more employment potential for the youth of andhra pradesh i am confident that for this reason as a government of india from my side as a msme ministry khadi village and ministry i want to support you i will definitely going to support you in this manner and my request it to plan a vision for andhra pradesh where i am 100% will help you for handloom handicrafts and other thing there are a lot of handloom and handicrafts area in andhra pradesh which is very important 
and 100% for the port connectivity. The 25 port connectivity projects, total length of 4,400 kilometer, where already we have finalized. Then for upgradation of two lane and power shoulder of the stage from Kaveli Udayagiri to Setupuranam, we will immediately start this. Then development of Narsapur bypass, with your request to me, the sanction of the civil work may be taken up in next year. Annual plan at present DPR may be initiated. Bangalore Amrauti Expressway may be taken up under Expressway. That decision we have to take and we have to discuss. We will find out the way out on it. Widening the urban link of Anantapur town of the state of Andhra Pradesh. The project has been accommodated in the current 2021 annual plan for amount of rupees 90 crore. However, the actual cost of the project is 350 crore for which additional section selling of rupees 250 may be agreed. We can agree for that. There is no problem. So presently we are facing the problem because of COVID-19. But just uh, I am confident that with positivity and self-confidence, we will 100% win this war against COVID-19. At the same time, we will economic war. So in the next month, I will be in Delhi to come with your officers. Regarding my ministry, we will fix up the meeting. We will resolve the issue. You are a member of parliaments from Andhra Pradesh. Many times they are meeting me. I'm always trying to help them. So we'll find out the way out. And we will make a world standard infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh. This is my promise to you. Whatever I'm going to declare, 100% we will complete that. Under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, we are very much committed for development of Andhra Pradesh. And 100% we will do it. Once again, I'm giving my all thanks to you and very precious to you. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Thank you, sir, for your kind address. And and sparing the time for laying the foundation stone laying foundation stone laying and dedication to mission of the project and giving a complete roadmap for the development of infrastructure in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Thank you, sir. Now may I request the Mahavir Singh to pose, pass vote of thanks on this occasion. Member NHAI, Mr. Mahavir Singh. Andre, Andre, am I? Am I? Ah, yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Honorable Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways and micro, small, and medium enterprises, Sri Nitin Kadkariji. Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Y.S. Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu. Honorable Union Minister of State for Road Transport and Highways, General Dr. V.K. Singhji. Honorable Union Minister of State for Home Affairs, Sri G. Krish Reddy Garu. Honorable Minister for Roads and Buildings, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri M. Sankaranayan Garu, Honorable Members of Parliament, Legislative Assembly, Legislative Council, Distinguished Guests on the Dais, and Ladies and Gentlemen. I deem it a great privilege to propose a word of thanks to all the dignitaries who have graced this occasion of foundation stone laying, dedication to the nation, ceremony of 61 highway projects, National highways, state roads under CRIF with investments of rupees 15,592 crores, having length of 1,411 kilometers. Today's function has been an abiding commitment to the welfare of the people and development of the state of Andhra Pradesh. We are deeply grateful to the Honorable Union Minister Sri Gadkariji for gracing this occasion for an enlightening address and sharing the vision of road infrastructure development so vital for achieving the economic 
and social goals for the country. I take this opportunity to express our sincere thanks to Honorable Chief Minister, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Vyas Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, for presiding this function. Sir, your presence in this function has immensely enhanced its importance. I also thank to all Honorable MPs, MLCs, and MLAs for gracing this occasion. I also wish to express my gratitude to respected Secretary MORTS, Sri Giridhar Arunayaji, respected Chairman NHAI, Sri SS Sandhuji, and respected Principal Secretary ERNV, Government of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Krishna Babuji. Many a thanks are also due to Sri IK Pandeji, DGRD, for moderating this program. Lastly, my thanks to all the officers, including Sri R.K. Singh, R.O.N.H.A.I., Sri S.K. Singh, R.O.M.O.R.T.H., and Sri B. Ramachandra, Chief Engineer, N.H.C.R.F., R.N.B., the project directors, officers from R.N.B. Department, officers in the Office of Honorable Minister, R.T. and H., officers in the Office of Honorable C.M., Government of Andhra Pradesh, who have worked with great dedication to make this program a great success. Thanks, thank you very much once again, and Jai Hind.